Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here to start of a new video in which we're taking a quick look at the Federal Republic of China in the mod called The Sun Shining on the World. So if you'd like to read about the Federal Republic of China, please go right ahead. Basically in 1936, from what my understanding, China signed a non-aggression pact with the Japanese in which they never attacked. And also one thing, it's kind of interesting that there's a Xi'an incident, but we can't see all of it. But anyways, um, this is a very probably quick video about just looking at the mod itself on the Chinese side. Now I've done the Japanese side, and apparently I mistakenly said that they're looking for people who can help out on the dev team, and that's true, but you kind of need to know Japanese to uh, help out. So if you know Japanese, hey, maybe figure out, uh, go join the team maybe. But if you can't, that's still okay. But we'll do a Chinese done, which we start with almost 48 divisions, 47 divisions of pure infantry. We have 8 divisions, two, we actually have tanks. Oh, when I played as the Japanese, we didn't even have tanks. But we also have some motorized as well, which is not too bad. The state of Tibet issued an embargo against us. Uh, hmm. Well, okay, I don't like that. And then we also have a few horse divisions, which are very nice. Still coming with as well. So, cool. Uh, our industry, one, two, three. Well, sort of three. One, two, some. Cool. And after the Chinese done, we'll have the Gu Zutong's decision. Start the Federalist and Kuomintang power struggle. That's always China. If there's not a power struggle in China, are you really playing China? Cool. And we have the National Spirit's unenacted constitution. Loose political power and stability. We also have uh, Chinese influence, local war, the dynamic modifier. Less organization, tech defense, and war support. And we also have reckless rapid industrialization dynamic modifier. Less stability, less efficiency cap, less factory output, and then barely any bonus to military or civilian factory construction speed. But it is what it is. And let's get a new research slot, because we still have only three. And now we have to decide. Prepare against prepa preparations of the CPCC. Invite the Constitutionalists. Let's go with that one, because I don't want to lose political power for now. And I would like to get some political power so we can go all the way up to partial mobilization, so we can keep building some more civvies, because why not? So, wait. Russia starts off at war with a Soviet provisional government, huh? Alright, that's kind of cool. Russian Patriotic Society, All Union Communist Party. Of course, we have the Republic of Siberia, Japanese Territory, Empire of Manchuria. Um, Egypt exists. Oh, look at that. Yep. You got a nice mustache. And of course, we have good old Germany doing German stuff. And no Switzerland. Air Force Conspiracy. Jur idea. Cool. And, uh, increase KMT influence. Sun Yet Sun's legacy versus Long Yun's dream. Remember federalism towards the creation of a constitution. Well, I don't want to lose political power at all, so let's go with this one. Listen to Zhu Fohai. Why not? Maybe it's got a good thing to do. The Federalists and the KMT are fighting over the current constitutional policy. Cool. Conservative Party wins the UK election of the House of Commons. So the Conservatives win. Can we get her former glory? Uh, depends on who you ask, I guess. And we could get point... Oh my gosh. Point five political power every single day. So we have National Republican Party. We have the National Republican Party. Just a different type of National Republican Party, I guess. I'll get some more research speed. That'd be kind of nice. And... The KMT counterattackers, Chiang Kai shek. We have ooh, Dai Li with the KMT. We've got leftist KMT on their Wang Jing Wei. Ooh, and then we'll do some Sun Yat-sen's legacy. Greatly increases KMT influence. Alright. Well, it's five. Compared to their zero. The Federalists and the KMT are fighting over the current constitutional policy. Alright. Actually, can we train our guys? That'd probably be a good thing to do. Um even though these guys are actually really big. Some of these guys are. These guys are 24 combo with, with recon, artillery, and engineers. Which, actually, most of our divisions are not like that. Most of them are 12 combo with. But it's just weird to see that we actually have tanks. Because when I played Japan, we didn't, we didn't even have tanks, man. No tanks. So, I find it very bizarre, but that's okay. Uh, let's come over here. Thank you very much. Let's do that. And, well, I'll do towards creation of constitution. Why not? Oh, they're gonna look at the Japanese Korean tree. It actually has a tree here. So, I'm not sure they actually have descriptions for this, but Korea has a unique focus tree, which is kind of just so weird. With with correct localization. And actually, this one actually has correct localization as well, sort of. But no focus description, which is fine, but still. Uh, like, as some of you guys said when I played as Japan, this mod has a lot of promise. So, we look forward. I think a lot of people look forward to seeing how this mod will develop in the future. But we keep gonna keep making more cities. 
towards the creation of a constitution. We get the Chinese Board of Political Cooperation as well. I really like the borders here. You know, you can always see like different colors and stuff, but I don't know. Just it's so smooth. The borders are so smooth here. So smooth. Cool. And of course, this stuff is very weird. It's a loan company, tax rate, tax antitrust law. We don't believe in antitrust. Yes, we do. <laughs> um, people reading newspapers, we can invest like savings. I think into this stuff. So, <clears throat> the Chinese Board of Political Co Cooperation. Recently, a constitutional issue yet caused another political uproar to take place. During a board of political cooperation meeting, a dispute over wording put the KMT, which aims for a centralized state, against the Federalists. The board of political cooperation called for both parties to calm down, but the arguing only intensified, ending in a brawl. Go ahead and beat each other, everyone. Finally, police intervention stopped the fight, but the agents couldn't figure out which side started it and has asked us to decide. It's a sabotage of the board by the KMT. The Federalists struck first. Of course they did. And, oh, we can't even do this one. And I think that might literally be it. Oh, but maybe not. Citizens Rally. In Nanjing, a massive Citizens Rally took place. Hearing that a KMT demonstration for a unitary China was taking place in a nearby park, pro-federal citizens gathered to rally against it, and initially both were quite peaceful. Of course, they always say that. However, after, some, so after someone threw a stone, violence, or violence spread like an avalanche throughout the park. The local police dispatched agents, and after employing tear gas, the mob dispersed, with some protesters captured on both sides, this being a political matter. The police was asked us to comment on it. Imprison the KMT rioters? Oh, look! The pr they the are pro protesters protesting in their cells. Alright, and a case of corruption. Serious news are circling throughout the nation. Political corruption scandals are popping up everywhere. A KMT politician accepted bribes from the Grand Chamber of Commerce, while federal officials received... Uh, a secret funding from a certain country to prove immigration permits. The press is having a blast. We don't know the origin yet. It looks like someone is leaking information. The aforementioned politicians are already starting to be harassed and to receive death threats. Financiers are also worried by this turn of events, according to the police. Most of the accusations are baseless, but still have asked us how to proceed. Seems like the KMT is in financial trouble. Well, the Pharaohs and their bribes are just an affront to justice. Zoo for high treatise. Federalist mainstay. Zufo High's new treatise has caused great controversy. According to the document, the KMT only pretends to uphold Sun Yat-sen's three principles, while in actuality, they aim to turn China into an oligarchy. It also criticizes the current government for expanding traditional Sinocentrism, falling into hegemonism, and accuses it for being another source of oppression for the Chinese people. The treatise was turned into a book and distributed in various cities. There was a wide variety of reactions with those who agreed with it and spread the message, and those who disagreed and burned the book. How should the government react? We must get these people to co comprehend politics. We need to ban the book. We love banning books here. And the politicized military exercise. The Chinese Federal Army submitted a shocking report. During a training session, two military instructors ordered their respective battalions or battalions to fight each other d due to the disagreement over politics, causing many deaths among the troops. According to the report, when asked about the casualties, the two officers explained them as training accidents. Rumors say the pro-KMT instructor attacked first. <clears throat> but the military's top brass, citing as a political matter, has referred that decision to the government. Our decision may have a significant impact on our forces. Outrageous discharge of the pre Kuomintang officer? It was an accident. Reduced both officers' salaries as punishment. For like a month or something like that. Alright, and I got some cup of coffee here. Is... Is that it, maybe? Is that maybe it? Perhaps? Perhaps? <clears throat> but it's always nice having four research slots. Do we have four? I think we, yeah, we, have, we literally have four, so. Um, let's, let's, let's just go on for a while. Oh, well, we're going to enact the Constitution and insert our text here. KMT Victory Tree. Okay, maybe not. Nice. Okay, good, 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 good. I was hoping that would be another tree. Okay, that's good. Reformer Military. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Chinese Diplomacy. We'll probably do that next. The Chinese Federal Army, which we can't do because... Well, we need to federal stuff. We have the National Revolutionary Army, so that looks pretty cool. Chinese National Rebel Army Dynamic Modifier. <clears throat> I think I'm next. I'm going to grab the Chinese Diplomacy, just because we could really use more political power. So, cool. I was a little worried that we wouldn't get this this second a second tree because it looks really small, but hey, we have one. India and Pakistan. Cool. Also, if you want to know about more about the mod, I'll link the mod. It's going to be the first link in the description below. So. Want to not too bad considering that uh, we just got rid of ten cities for now. So um, where are you guys at? You guys are not training. I don't really want training because we don't have that many tanks, horses. I'm totally okay with training though. Totally okay with that. And we're out of guns. We're out of artillery. We need some more support equipment as well. Also, we have no planes and we have no navy. Yeah, no planes, no navy. It is what it is. 
Cool. And we're going to... The Nanjing Anti-Imperialist Joint... National Joint Conference. Okay, well... Diplomacy first. Re-invite German advisors. Um, the fleet... I love that as a 35-day focuses. I love that a lot. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Get some dockyards. Won't really do too much for us if we can't build anything other than convoys, which is all we can build right now. Um, a united army. Well... Hmm. I mean, you're pretty heavy on the naval stuff, it looks like. Well, I mean, this makes sense. These three are pretty... are naval focused. We don't talk about the army too much, do we? We can get some blueprints. Eh, maybe a little bit. The Federal States of America declare war on the Republic of Louisiana. This gives more attack and defense. Supply consumption. re German advisors. I kind of want to do that one see what happens. Fortress Shanghai. The Ch Chinese Siegfried Line. Military Committee. 50 divisions plan. Um, that's not too bad. Wampoa Military Academy. And then I have a gun. <laughs> I have a gun. Let's do a re German advisors first, though. Some people are... The Republic of China reinvites military advisors. Cool. And we got some a few divisions here. Not too many, not too many, but hey, there you go. Hey, 48 divisions now. Alright, let's see what the Germans are up to. Alright, so now, what do we have here? Do we have anything unique in industry? No, no. Pretty normal, sort of generic guys. Kenji Doihari. Doihara. Alright. Who do we have here? We have Tong Sheng Zi, or Viking Government. Yan Zishan. Zhu Fohai, which we saw earlier. Luhan and Bai Chongji. Cool. I just kind of want to get into the research slot, actually. I guess the industry stuff, why not? Might as well. Oh. Let's go do that. And that too. Lots of civvies. Wow. 50. That's actually not bad. 50 arm XP. Um, I'm, I don't know if we're actually going to go to war in this episode or this video, so. A little bit of lag. Oh, because question marks and Spain's killing itself. Yay! All right, let's go forties. Make them big. I always like to double check, make sure we actually have those divisions out. Because, oh, look at that militia divisions. Deutsche the Reich refuse our re-invitation of the act of military advisors. Um, they refuse the request. We will have to move on our own. It can't be helped. Military committee them. And research. Nice. Mechanical computing. I guess we'll go with uh, this one. Mexican computer computing machine. There it goes. Mexican Civil War. Goodbye, Mexican Civil War. We hardly knew you. Cool. Um, let's make these guys thick. Oh, we have direct. What is it? Direct garrison. Six sixty defense. You have less breakthrough. You're literally all there just probably for defense. Oh, we got this too. Nice. A fifth research slot? Very good. Um, there you go. Plus two in a suppression. They're good for suppression and defense. These have less HP and request, require the same amount of stuff. Victory of Russian democracy, alright? Spice is slightly better, but not by much. Yeah, direct garrison. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of defense. If you put those in the field, like no one's going to be able to bust through those. There we go. Now those are nice boys. Oh, and someone might be exploding too. Ah, the German Civil War. Very good, very good. And... Cool. Sure, why not? It's always good to get more research slots. So you guys... Oh, let's do this one first. All right, the 50 plans, divi 50 division plan, and Germany has gone kaboom. Ah, yes, uh, we love Himmler and Goring and uh, Pavel Notovobek and Go Goebbels and Martin. Cool. All right, so up next, yeah, you guys. There you go. Become thick boys. We're not going to have any equipment for it, but that's okay. I'll put you on the board with Tibet. You'll be alright. Spear firepower is always nice. Grab that one too. And put you guys here. Actually, don't even make you guys anymore. I only want them large. There you go. And 
There you go. 0.96, that's, that's actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Nice. Very good. Very good. Uh, we're using cavalry. Eh, I think it's okay for now. It's okay. Alright, and with the defense divisions. Yeah, that's insane. 40 more defense. Jesus Christ, that is so much. Militia is really not good. They require 50 less infantry equipment, so there's no point even using them then. I mean, they're cheaper to make, but still. But after that, oh. And let's do the Nanjing Anti Imperialist National Joint Conference. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Army training orders. Division training time goes down by 25% for a little more than two months, but two thirds, two and two thirds of a month. Organize our chain of command. We need more army XP. First stage, at least. Oh. Oh, so you just create divisions just out of the blue. Oh, we can support people here too. Oh, we can join Goebbels. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wait, so we can just go to war with him? Oh, that seems kind of a bit extreme, but okay. I kind of like it, but a bit extreme maybe. There you go. I mean, I didn't even get that option as Japan, and we have no navy, so anything we throw in the water probably gets sunk. All right. Up next, what are we gonna do? Oh, we have anarchism. Chinese People's Socialist Party. Communist Party of China. Classical communism. Kong Zhao. Oh, there goes German Moscow. Goodbye, German Moscow, and the KMT leftists. Well. This reminds me a lot of Thousand Week Reich, but how about Pakistan? Yes, the Pakistani people are very good people. Ah, uh, hold the Nanjing Conference, a conference to oppose Japan. To Nanjing. Alright. Of course, we have a lot more building sites we could build here. Keep work, working on those cities, good boys. Um... Establish a Nanjing Treaty Organization, the anti-Japanese faction. Oh, thanks for joining us, uh, guys. Thanks for joining us. And there go the Balkans, the new Balkan order. I wish we could send volunteers, but we only have only two percent world attention, which sucks. So we have one, two, three. Some. I wish we could raise this higher, though. Definitely didn't have enough manpower for that, though. Wow, look at the straight line. Look at that. Oh, never mind. It's not going to be straight any longer. This guy's killing each other. It's just almost completely straight. The Danubian War. Very nice. Pavlich. Pavel Karadorodevich. Mr. Horiasima. And Ferenik. Last name. Uh-oh. Who died? Which Germany died? Ge oh, well, Poland. Okay, Poland died first. And Bormann's Germany. Okay. Oh, we have another... Uh, at this point, I'm not going to... Probably not... Oh, we have a sixth one. We probably don't honestly need to stop time for this. We have so many research slots anyway, so... And another Germany's fallen. Cool. Alright. Uh, how about our Southeastern, Southeast Asian brothers? Yes. We sent a lot of equipment out that we don't have, but that's okay. And Goebbels is doing really well. When I played, spoilers, Japan, he struggled quite a bit earlier on, but he's doing very well right now. Look at his advance. That's a lot of battles, man. Oh, Research Institute? I don't want to hurt my civvies anymore, but one, two, three, four, some. Not bad. But research is always appreciated. Oh, we lose 20. Jesus. Construction 3 is nice. Get the next one, too. Integration of these two groups in Mexico, okay. Who knows how long it will last? So we have a Socialist Republic of Mexico, and also America is divided and stuff like that, so. Valentin Campa. Alright. Part of Spain has died. And the Union of Three Companies is killing each other with these Federative States of America. Alright then. We have a Canadian Federation. And the Japanese territory of the Arctic. Wow. And let's do funding and weapons. How about that? Help them out, even though we need to help ourselves first. But whatever. It's fine. And we're, we're Type 41 tanks. Which has... Looks like guns. But whatever. You know, it is what it is. Alright. 
Digital computing is nice. Improve computer computing. Yeah. Uh, Goebbels is doing very well. Holy crap. Seven days left for engineers. Which, actually, do we have... We do have engineers on them. That's nice. German Belgium. Niederlander. Nice mustache, right, Ricard. Lots of entrenchment, please. Fuel storage will probably go with uh, synthetic oil experiments, please. Yeah, it's just rear, anyways. Ah, uh, better artillery, why not? Fighting weapons, so instigate anti imperialist strife. Decisive battle against Japanese. So we have the Marco Polo Bridge incident against Manchuria and the Empire of Japan, the Chinese Century. Wow, max volunteer, force division limit. Holy crap. Negotiate with the bet. Well, let's do this one first. Um, one belt, one road. Recover outer Mongolia. So is it war actually going to start sometime then, maybe? Huh. I might just force the war to see what happens. Oh, they got a lot of guys down here too. I forgot about that, yeah. Um, that's a lot of dudes. Well then. Hmm. Go oh, infantry equipment. Infantry equipment is probably pretty important. Do we have anything here? Social systems. No, not quite yet. No, not yet. One, two, three. Almost full three. Nice. And how, how much longer are we going to wait for this research stuff? Emphasize ties with the UK. Canada. All right then. So be it, so be it. We have no fuel, but that's okay. And Germany's doing very, very well. Kingdom of Serbia and Montenegro. Nice. One, two, three, some. Stability. <laughs> Burma and the Philippines. There's a lot of war support and some stability, which is nice. Alright, so this is all done. So I guess we'll do the National Revolutionary Army next. I'm not sure what that's going to do for us, but we'll try it. Why not? Actually, since we're here, we might just make a fallback line, actually, instead. So we need one, two, three, four, five. There goes the Union of Three Companies. All right. It's fine with us. Uh, you can abandon that tile. It's just easier to defend that way. There you go. It's only three divisions for now, but that's all right. Four, 40 combo with down here in mountains is going to be quite hellacious to fight in. So, All right. Get some more soft attack. Thank you. And now we should technically have more, a lot more cities. So let's, let's start building some millies, too. Uh, 50. And they go. Oh, Texas declared one of the left is Vanguard. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Okay, this again. If that's 25, I think we have enough. Enough research slots, right? We already have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Not bad. Pretty good. After this one, we're going to go and do what? The Revolutionary Education? Probably that, because we could use more War Sport. And Division Recovery is not bad. We are not. We can't really use it right now, but that's all right. I'd love to invade Tibet, though. I would love to. The Nanjing Treaty Organization. Can I change the name at all? No, we cannot. So we have the Republic of Yunnan, but... Oh, I guess the Republic of Yunnan's right there. Okay. Okay, so this group is with us. Okay, that makes more sense. Can I actually go in their lands? No, we... Oh, yeah, we can, yeah. Are they our... My puppet? Yeah, they are a puppet. Okay, that's good. Um, instead of you guys doing that, we'll do it like this. Whee! You go. Better engineers, just max up those engineers, boys. All right, so we got making the millies, which is nice, because we definitely need more guns. Cities are important, so we keep, keep having a bigger, 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 bigger industry. I'm not sure why they have so many. Ja why are the Japanese in our lands? I mean, they will naval invade us later on, but still. There you go. Something like that. Revolutionary education. Follow it up with a Fortress Shanghai. Why not? Because I don't want to put you guys um, in the ports. So, just in case. Oh, and there go the Balkans. Cool.
not too worried about research, so that's good. Let's grab some more of this. Thank you. And this one's halfway done, which is great. Um, new research institute. I mean, we could, but we really need more cities to build up. I don't know when the thing's going to fire. It's already August 51, so... Let's get to the next level. Really focus on that artillery stuff. Cool. Fortress Shanghai. Followed up with an interest in tanks. The Chinese Secret Line. I want to do this one. I want to get the. I have a gun to get more research done or more equipment production done first. So planning speed goes down, but more X planning. Research and Statistics Bureau. All right. Why not? Only thirty-five percent world attention. It's fine. Germany's doing way too well. And by Germany, I mean Deutsches Reich. Holy crap. Oh man. Uh, oh, nothing changed there. We have, okay, National Revolutionary Army. Look at that. It actually gave us more daily command power. Multiplier barely. Quite a bit more max planning. Less division training time is not too bad, so. Alright. Romania's very, whoa. They're green now. What happened to them? Oh, did, did they lose? Whoa. When I played, spoilers, when I played Japan, they actually won. Mikhail. Mihai? Yeah, like, holy crap. Yeah, they actually took out Serbia. Oh, the small axis. Look at that. That looks really kind of cool. That does look kind of cool, actually. In my opinion. But, you know, it is what it is. Do we need more resources immediately? Eh, not really. Extraction's kind of okay right now. There you go. Do that one, too. Cool. All right, and then we'll do the train to food line. Lots of this, lots of stuff there, please. Thank you very much. Um, we need more millies. Put them back in the mountains. I know the infrastructure there is not very good, but whatever. Um, oh, I'll just use this guy. Planning speed kind of sucks, but whatever. Russia to play war in P Saint Petersburg. That's fine. We need more guns. We need more stuff here. We need more stuff here. We need more stuff here. And as this, as I said earlier, all we can make is convoys, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Really dig in, boys. Dig, dig, dig a hole. Need way more arty. All right then, not bad. What is this? The National Republic of Belarus. All right. Oh, we have no fuel, which makes sense, but whatever. God dang, Go Goebbels. That's a lot of divisions. These guys have a lot of divisions. Doesn't mean they're really good, but that's a lot. Just casually having how much manpower? One to four million? Jesus. And then, Wampoa Military Academy. I'm not sure when the Marco Polo Bridge incident is supposed to spark. Oh, look, finally we got some pretty good good amount of uh, war support. And to do. Let's go to this one next. Garrison's just in case, because you guys are already in the field. Um, or let's go. I just want to make it bigger. All right. Twenty combo with. I would like to throw out artillery on them, but we don't have it as you see. Oh, it looks a little worse. That's okay. One, two, and then three. Not bad. And then we'll make. I have a gun. This will be better. So we'll get through all this stuff. We'll see if, can we actually, oh wait, can we actually, uh, hmm, I don't know if we're actually able to go to war with the uh, Japanese though. Because I don't think there's a war goal. How strong are the Japanese actually? Not a lot of manpower. Mm, quite a few divisions, not gonna lie, that's quite a few divisions. Put you guys right there, and we'll put you guys right there. Cool. Yeah, we need more millies. Uh, let's go make sure we have four millies in production at all times. We need a lot more guns for this now. We need a lot more artillery too, because it's much harder to make artillery than guns. Uh, oh yeah, we that too. All 
All right, not bad, not bad. Even better soft attack is very good. One, two, three, four. It's good, good, good. I have a gun. Wow. Come on, girls, win, 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 win. Forty-seven percent world tension. Not bad. After this one, we're going to go and do the interesting tanks, because getting more attack would be very nice, actually. I want to do that one, but 25 civvies is just so much. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then some still being made. Uh, it's looking a lot better, actually. 90 days, really easy to make. Alright, even better artillery yet? Even best artillery. More output? Yes, please. After engineers? Well, actually, let's go for planes. We have literally no planes. Holy crap. I think we've got enough engineers for now. We're looking pretty good on that stuff, so... Collapse of the government of Goring. The end of this madness is near. Anti Nazi government's gone. Ah, Spain actually won really quickly. Wow. Oh, they have a lot of colonies. Doesn't mean they're strong or anything like that, but they got a lot. Alright, next research will be done when? In about 10 11 days. And about the same for this for this. Tanks. Well, we do have tanks, but they're not very good, but, you know, whatever. Now look at that. The Ukraine on the Dniester. Okay, reluctant interventionist, smooth talking charmer. Clap. Oh, Himmler's gone. Goodbye, Himmler. We hardly know you. End of the German Civil War. An interest in tanks and joint training. Might as well. I might just spark the war between us and the Japanese just to see what would happen. So we'll see. Hmm. Here we go. How do you still only have three divisions here? What are you guys missing? Artillery and support equipment. Okay, that makes sense. Um. We're actually really looking good on that stuff. Uh, oh, artillery. Even better artillery for artillery. Yes, it's good. Uh, there you go. One, two is not enough. We have factory slots, actually. Here, go up there. One, two, three. Four. And then we'll build up a lot of infrastructure around here. That'll be good. I know Taki Senpai played as a Japanese, just like me. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Eight cavalry divisions. We definitely need more. Just need more of everything. That's it. We just need more everything. Joint training is nice. Follow it up with expand uh, aviation industry. Might as well. One, two, three, four. Good. And that one's keep going on. Which is awesome, awesome, awesome. We have a great amount of guns. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We need more artillery. And I'm actually I'm okay with actually doing this now since we have a surplus anyway. So yep. Stronger guns are good. Let's go and trade away for one of these from Deutsches Reich. Thank you. Um, aluminum? What are we using aluminum for? Ah, this stuff. We don't have any, have any fires. That's okay to kind of do what we're doing right now. What happened to all the other stuff we have here? Huh. Oh, supporting the Germans. That's, that's what happened. Yeah, actually, I don't like this thing. Like, over here, you can expand and get one more building slot, but it takes literally political power for 49 days. You lose 49 political power. Plus 25, so... That's a lot of PP lost. That's a ton of PP lost, which you, you probably want to use, um, you know, when you run out of things in your focus tree to do, but that's okay. Nanyang Fleet. 35 day focus is very good. Cool, cool, cool. And you know what? I, uh, I'm going to show you these, and we're going to blow through this really quickly and see if there's anything else afterwards, any sort of events or anything like that. Night Raid seems pretty good, and a United Army. So I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, everyone. So it's actually February thirteenth, nineteen fifty-five, and there's a lot more content for the Ch for China than I initially supposed. But the first National Assembly, no, begin the election. So um, as we saw, uh, we saw these two trees. I'm like, oh, is that it? So then I did the entire tree over here. Chinese industry. All these have no like you know descriptions yet, but that's okay. Help our factory workers. Unfortunately, restrict child labor. Workplace legal regulations. Import tools. Import manufacturing machinery. Train the workers, expand mining industry, and I'll, sh I'll show you the, the national spirits that we have right now, um, as, or at least right after we go through this part. An abundant labor force, made in China, emphasize on the urban economies, start construction of Three Gorges Dam, which we're still trying to do, state-owned enterprises, inter-city transportation networks, electrified, population influx towards the cities, the awe-inspiring Paris of the Orient, and grow the National Central University, which will get another research slot, and urban radiance, and then... Because of the space here, I thought that was it, but no, we have another one here from here. So if we chose Federer's, Federal's path, we could have gone down this way, but we, go, of course, want to return to Republican China, and we just finished up the first National Assembly, in which apparently either we get a full revival of the leftist path with Wang Jingwei, 
or the lessons of federalism with Gu Zutong. So I suppose we just have to wait here just a little bit. Um, like I said, I'm going to show you the national spirits right now. So we still have, oh, election results, null. Um, we have Research and Statistics Bureau. We have Get Your Gun, of course. We have Chinese style economy, plan economy, which is very, very good. Um, we have Innovative Industrialization, which is great. We have, of course, this still stuff over here, which kind of sucks. Warlord Dynamic Modifier, which sucks. And But we have a Revolutionary Army Dynamic Modifier, which does take away the debuffs from here. So we got Attack and Defense. Actually, between these two, we got 5% more attack. We've got still, I think, minus 10% organization. We've got better supply consumption. Recovery rate goes up by zero. <laughs> and more land and attack. And war support, well, it's still pretty bad, but it's still 71%. So apparently, we have no control over this, but Wang Jiawei is victorious. And we'll choose this one. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to split this into two parts. Um, tomorrow's episode, unless there's more of the focus here that I don't, I'm not aware of, which I don't think there is. Hello. Um, we'll go through this entire thing together. And if nothing happens, we'll go ahead and go to war with the... Uh, the Co Prosperity Sphere, or what do they call it? The Dai Toa Kyokian? I don't speak Japanese uh, thing. Of course, we still are allied only with Pakistan, but at this point, we're pretty much ready to go to war. All of our guys here that we have are 50, 40 combat with. And we've got tanks, we've got motorized, we've got cavalry, and I'm using the cavalry as a bunch of garrison divisions. So, hey, we'll see what happens in the next episode, but which will probably be the end one for this campaign. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. I've been working on a lot of different things here, and we've got like one, two, three, four, eight fact, eight, eight uh, fact research slots. But regards, thanks for watching, and have a great, great rest of your day.